Welcome to the instructional video for the Chasson Welcome Premium 530. This is based on a Ford Transit model, it does have the metallic paint which is an option and a few other specifications that we'll walk around. So behind the driver's door we twist the lock to open and twist it to close. This is where your gas bottle will sit into on the built-in regulator there. Pigtail will connect to your bottle depending on what gas you're going to use and we'll close just like that. Put your key in and turn it quarter turn, that will allow the locker to press in and lock. Just like so. And that's the same on all the locks throughout the vehicle. Habitation door is just behind that and that will work off the central locking. Further behind that, you have an awning light at the top and your fridge vents just there. Behind that, we have your toilet cassette, which again will lock with the one key. Lift it up, slide it out, empty it, and then slide it back in just to make sure it's in place and it's clipped over that little locking point there. You do need to have the valve closed inside to allow that to move out of the vehicle for emptying. Below you have a little sticker that tells you where your wastewater and that is a little valve key underneath there so you just pull the valve towards you to open it push it in to close it and that is your wastewater so any water that's gone through the taps or the sinks or the shower behind that under the compartment here is your external barbecue point premium comes with this as standard just make sure that that's clipped back in before traveling off at the rear we have an opening locker reverse camera and the pre-mount bar for the bike rack Generally most people will put a lift bike rack onto that. So twist it like you have on the other ones, gently open it up and that will release the space in the garage. These are on a magnet, so they're just magnetised, so you can either have them as shelves or you can have them as a full opening area there. We have your tyre fix and go kit, smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector. We have your silver screen to carpets and your electric cable that comes as standard with the chessons. To lock it, let it push back in, flick the handles and then lock them in place the same way as the one on the other side. Round to this side we've got your mains plug-in point and as I mentioned it does come with the cable, plugs in just there and then the locker next to it is the techno locker which houses on one side your water so to fill up the water you must have the cap removed and in that position so that once it's full it will overflow outside of the vehicle. On here it has two levels that you can set it to, a minimum and a maximum level and that relates to that little brown fitting just inside there. The tank is transparent so you will see it and the point for the drain is just underneath where there's a marker on here which I'll just show And that is located just behind the black pipe the fitting just there which is on a push fitting to remove it and a push on to allow you to fill up the tank so that is your way fresh water drain yeah so it's just behind that back pipe just there also in the cupboard on the left hand side we have the electrical systems so a couple of fuses here your main RCD box your main bank of fuses and then the battery charger there are some instructions for you to read just on there to tell you about testing that you're getting power in and it also explains what the fuses are on the stickers. Forward of that we've got your vent for the water heater. Simply just press down on the top and lift the cover off. That will expose the vent for the water heater. Put it back on, press it down and clip it back in place there. Forward of that, again it's a premium model so it does come with an external shower point. That allows you to have water coming out of the vehicle once you've got water in your fresh water tank to the outside through the hose which is provided. Forward of that, we've got your filler point for the diesel and your add boy point lower down below. The seats in the cab have height adjusters just by pumping and pushing it down and then lumbar supports and back seat positions. If you want to turn off your passenger rear bag there's a little switch there and this comes with electric windows on both sides and locks on both sides as well as 
the Remis cab lines. On both side windows and front window, your front window will go around that centre unit. You may need to take off the reverse camera when doing it. Passenger airbag, lockable storage area, 12 volt charge, cab air conditioning, and you've got your blowers and your ventilation there. To the front of the vehicle, to get into the bonnet, your key goes into the little hole here, turn it one way and then the other way and that will allow you to lift up the bonnet. Underneath the bonnet we've got positive points, negative point just here, and then we've got oil, dipstick and green wash just to the side there. So nice and easy, nice and compact. You have also got a plate here which tells you your weights and the sticker there telling you where to pick up the negative point. On closing it, remember to take your keys out, otherwise you'll be looking for them like I do. The mirrors fold in manually, but then we'll automatically adjust using the little lever here. And again, you've got locks and window buttons on both sides. Light options on here, manual dip lights, main beam, or you've got an auto function. Steering wheel controls are just on there as well. Just using the two sections here and your cruise control is just there. Moving inside, we've got fly screen and your blind. Just located there. And closing the door, you can manually close it or open it. We've got your main control panel. So you turn on the main control just by pressing the top left hand button. The lights will be left on or off depending on where you've used them last time. So the first light being the light. So that will turn on the lights around the vehicle. The next one being the pump. So that will turn on the water pump if you've got water in your fresh water tank. And the last one being your awning light. You have an indicator just below here that shows that you are plugged into main, so we currently are. Underneath at the bottom, we then have a level to tell us what's in the battery life on the habitation battery, what the life is on the engine battery, what the level of the fresh water is, and the last option being the dimness and brightness of the control panel. So that is your main control panel that controls everything pretty much in the vehicle. Separate to that at the side, we've got your heater control. So if you turn it on, you'll see that it lights up and your diesel heating will kick in as and when you are ready. To change the temperature, you simply turn the dial from high to low. And then when you want to turn it off, simply switch it off and the light disappears. At the side of it, you've got the thermostat and then we've got two different switches. So there are several little switches dotted around the vehicle that will assist you uh, in telling you whether it is on. One to remember, bathroom light located just underneath there. The toilet I showed you before will indicate just like that when it is full. And to get water coming in, you press the blue button. The toilet will slide around. And I mentioned that the blade valve, so that's the valve inside. That is controlled there. To open it, push it towards the back of the vehicle to close it pull it towards the front so that is your valve for there when you do see that light it is prevalent to enter the toilet because that's telling you that it's getting full we've got press studs on the doors which will stop the cupboards from flying open a window soap holder and toothbrush shoulder just there and then we've got a slider compartment here that will slide just like that. Make sure it's in that position for traveling. Storage in the rear, so release the little press studs. Gently open them, we've got your cab, cab mats there. Storage to the left, makeup cushions for making up the bed underneath. And then by pressing the button at the top, we then have a sliding rail for your hanging items that will just bring you easier access to get them out from just there. Press that in place so it's not sliding around when you're driving. And again, make sure that your buttons are pressed in place there. The shower compartment 
Pretty self-explanatory, you've got toilet, toilet holder there, which will hold your towel, an opening vent that you just twist. Please make sure that that's closed before you drive off. And then your taps, just with your mixers, just on the top telling you hot and cold in the direction of that. Yep. Duckboard just underneath there and your sink's underneath there. Just magnetises on, so that magnetises in place. And then here we have a sliding compartment that just slides off and gives you that privacy when you're not. Forward of that, we've got your gas. So three burner hob. And then we've got, on the right of that, your sink. So once we've filled up the water tank of fresh water, I would advise then you go to your boiler controls, which can be found underneath here, and I'll just demonstrate them for you now. So underneath this section here is where your boiler is located for the water heater. The one thing that you must remember is to put that little yellow valve in the position that it's in now, and that is horizontal, and that will allow you to fill up the boiler. When you lift it up, that will empty the boiler, and water will come out directly underneath the vehicle. Just like that. Turn it off, it will then fill back up the water when the pump is on and allow you to then choose the water options for the heating in the vehicle. That is nice and discreetly hidden away underneath that little panel there. Underneath the seat base. Yeah. So once you've got water in the fresh water tank and you've shut that valve underneath there. What you want to do is come to your taps, turn your tap to the hot position, it's just indicated on the front of the tap here. Open up and let it flow until you get a steady stream of water just like that. Now once you've done that, if you are getting water that is spitting and spurting out of there, let it run till it's a steady stream. Try that also on your bathroom tap. What you want to do then is come down to the front of the vehicle here and here is located both your fresh water, uh, sorry your heat controls for the electric and the gas. Gas being at the top and it's a three way switch. So it's either 50 degrees when you turn it up, middle position off or 70 degrees when you turn it down. Underneath that then we've got an electric element. So we're either going to do it again on 50 degrees or down on 70 degrees or the middle position off. You can use a combination of both or you can use them individually. Obviously only use the gas when the gas is turned on and the electric when you are plugged into mains. So there are your controls for your water heating. Remember your heating for the vehicle is found next to the control panel at the top. On from there we have the seat that lifts up for your passenger and that section underneath moves out of the way so that your passengers have room for their legs to go your seat belts are just located just behind the seats you simply pull them over the cushion if you want to use them for your traveling passengers the blinds so these lift up and clip in place and then we'll come down in stages just like that to release them you release the two pins either side holding on and then the middle one clips down the windows themselves have little buttons that you press in for the window stays yeah and you'll see that they're located on all four points of the window then the window will simply slowly lift open and stay open until it goes all the way to the top to close now you do need to open it fully for it to close so make sure you're not opening the window when you're next to anything close. Window works the same here and the same on the bathroom area. You have an opening window on the roof light. And that works in a similar sort of way. Just make sure that you press the little buttons in underneath. And again, there's four points on these. And then you can simply lift it up on the little clicker. And that will hold just like that all the way up and all the way down and again remembering to 
to close all of the window stays before you go. Yeah, we have a blind and a fly screen also located on that. And you have your nets for the drop down beds just located there. So I mentioned the bed. The bed is located just above your head here. And the one thing that you must do is you must have the key, which is located in here, in the slot in the right position to activate the beds. You must also have the light switch on on the control panel. Now also behind there is where your manual winder goes into, goes into the actual key at the top. And that will allow you to move the bed down without the electrics on. So to do the bed, we always remove these cushions. This one with a little bit of help from yourself because it is Velcroed. Just store those out the way. And the same on this one, just helping the Velcro off. Out of the way to allow us then to operate both the table and the bed. The operation switches are just found underneath the kitchen worktop. The first one is the table. You just bring that out of the way. That also formulates a bed underneath as well with the cushions that are in the uh, wardrobe area. Once it's down, simply press the bed button and that will draw down the bed. Make sure it's not there's no obstructions underneath it. Yeah, and it will go all the way down to the seat base. The ladders are there if you want to use it in the higher position, and that is a preset position depending on the height of the ladders, which will also let you use the bed underneath. And the ladders simply just hook on to here, just as the sticker shows you just there. Now we do say guys on these beds, you can use your leave your duvets on, you can leave your pillars on. If your pillars are big, just pop them at either side at the front, just in the area above the driver's seats. And you have a light, light switch just located at, at the above there, and that presses on at the end. You have, again, because it's a premium system, you have the TV bracket and storage in the cupboard area, along with the manuals and the packs and the box for the rehearsing camera screen. Please make sure that you do not, as the sticker says, pull that down when the flame has been on, let it cool down first, then you won't have any accidents. Below that you have your oven and your grill, pretty self-explanatory, your grill's right and it's literally on or off, and the oven to the left, you've got a light and you've got an igniter. To the side of that, we've got a storage area where your isolation valves are located and your fire extinguisher. Again, making sure you press the button in. And then in here, we have your cutlery drawer. Again, it's a soft close, let it close and then press the button in. Above, we've got a storage space just there. And then we have your fridge unit. So you press the button on, you can automatically search, you can manually search the electric this is the battery, so this will only work when the engine is running or we've got the gas. Gas will only work obviously when the gas is on or we can let it automatically search. So I'm plugged into mains at the minute, so it will automatically search that. We then have your temperature control by pressing this button here from the warmest to the coldest. Once you've selected it, leave it and it will just so search the source. We've got a freezer compartment and a large fridge area. Just there. To turn the unit off, just press and hold it, and it will go off after a few seconds. Underneath, we have another storage area, just there, and we have the little lips underneath for the table to sit on. I'll show you how to make that. Just in. So the bed itself for the underneath simply makes up like that. Two cushions sit in front in the middle area and then the other one's there. So you can see it's a decent sized bed. Literally, 
remove the cushions and that will give you the position the table just sit, simply folds in half and you have an extender bar and then you back up to your living area in the matter of seconds Just like that. They are preset to stop automatically. We have seat belt adjusters for the heights just there. These light switches, the button just there. It's always one that's forgotten. And the main button for the lights are just located there. The little blue lights are the switches just on the end here. And they turn off them little blue night lights that you see throughout the vehicle. This is an automatic gearbox, which was an option. And again, the seats swivel by pulling the little bar at the front here. Locks in place when it's forward facing. To slide it backwards and forwards, then you'll need to move the little bar here and that will slide it backwards and forwards. Your engine battery is located underneath the passenger seat. And we've got USB charging points just up there. Get in there guys, so lastly the roof vent has a fly screen and a blind and that is a winding option so simply winds up and down units in the handle just there. That concludes our handover video for the Chasson Welcome Premium 530. I hope you enjoy it, we look forward to your feedback and we look forward to hearing about your adventures in the future. Thank you.